reporting, NBC News can confirm 22 dead in this shooting in Lewiston, Maine. Three locations police are investigating and 55 to 60 people injured. I want to bring in now Clint Watts, former FBI special agent and an MSNBC national security analyst. Clint, um, this is indeed a mass casualty event. Uh, these numbers are ticking up higher. Uh, an extraordinary tragedy. 22 people dead, 55 to 60 injured. Uh, they believe the shooter went to three different locations. Let me just first get your reaction to the notion that one person in what we believe, again, we're, we're just confirming details here, what we believe is an hour, seven between 7.15 and 8.15, visited three locations and was able to inflict this much pain, this much horror um, in the city of Lewiston, Maine. Your thoughts? Yeah, Alex, I, it is just devastating to see this happen time and time again. I think the other thing is the images that you see there of the shooter, which law enforcement has gotten out very quickly. Um, as Frank noted, that's what they felt like they needed to do to identify this person and try and bring them in. Those images that you're showing right there are bad news. Uh, you can just look at it. Um, it's an AR-15 style weapon uh, with a scope, with a tack light. You're looking at pants that, you know, seem to be some sort of military looking cargo pant. Those could be uh, cargo, t you know, combat style boots of some sort. It looks like that's there and the individual seems to be moving with that weapon with the intent to kill. So I think everything that I've seen so far and note that I've only seen so much so far, I, I just got alerted to this a little while ago is this is the worst case scenario. You know, it's a, a shooter that's going to multiple locations. I think the key questions that are probably being asked there is, you know, why did this person pick these locations? Was it about a personal grievance or was it about some sort of ideological motivation? I, I heard Frank on here right before this. And, and those are the questions you always go to, to try and understand where the shooter might be if he's not already been apprehended. The yeah, other thing I, that I thought- Go ahead, please, go ahead. Frank, was, Frank was spot on about, which is, you know, this individual, um, he's not hiding his face. Uh, he wants to be seen. Uh, the other thing that I just noticed is different from some of the other recent mass shootings that we've had is there's not, doesn't appear to be body armor on, which we've seen that several times at recent mass shootings, unfortunately. So I think the situation is very violent, um, very dangerous. And I'm, I'm just hoping